Hello, welcome to Biograd TV. If you're new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Jakaya Murusho Kikwete. If you're privileged to take a tour around Tanzania, do well to ask about one of the most celebrated and decorated leaders in town, who is a free and humbled personality with a large heart. And without a doubt, the name Jakaya Murusho Kikwete will echo in your ears. Although, it's tempting to also share the belief that Jakaya's quick rise to leadership and power could be traced to his influential family background, right from his grandfather, who was a local chief, to his father, Halfani Murisho Kikwete, who was a district commissioner during the colonial era, regional secretary, and then became an ombudsman, a mediator who investigated complaints of individuals against companies and government during the independence era. So, in 1950, a unique year believed to be a year of baby boom in Msoga, Tanzania, Jakaya Murisho Kikwete was born on the 7th of October. Jakaya started schooling in 1959 at Karatu Primary School before continuing a mid-school education at Tengeru School from 1962 to 1965. Then he moved to Kibaha Secondary School for his O-levels between 1966 and 1969, and he furthered at Tanga Technical Secondary School for his advanced level education. In 1975, Jakaya attended the University of Dar es Salaam, where he studied agroeconomics. Meanwhile, in 1972, he had joined the Tanzanian Military Academy, where in 1980, he had the rank of a lieutenant colonel. As a basketball lover, Jakaya Murisho Kikwete began to jump shoot his political shots as he bounced from one position to another in party ranks and took calculated moves from one location to another in serving his political party. When the Tanganyika African National Union TANU, and Zanzibar's Afro Shirazi Party ASP, merged to form Chama Cha Mapinduzi CCM in 1977. Thereafter, Jakaya was transferred to the region of Zanzibar and assigned the task of setting up the new party's organization and administration on the island. In 1980, he skillfully did a crossover move to the party's headquarters as administrator of the Dar es Salaam head office and also led the defense and security department before moving up country to the regional and district party offices in Tabora region from 1981 to 1984, Singida and Nachingwea region from 1986 to 1988, and Masasi district, then the country's southern regions of Lindi and Mtuara respectively. Jakaya's good works and commitment didn't go unnoticed as he was appointed to join the central government in the same year, 1988. In 1989, he found love again in Salma Kikwete, who happened to be his second marriage. She was said to be one of the most active African first ladies between 2005 and 2015, a teacher per excellence who bore five children. At age 44, Jakaya became one of the youngest ministers in Tanzania, appointed Minister of Finance in 1994 to 1995. President Benjamin William Mkapa appointed Jakaya Minister of Foreign Affairs in November 1995 to 2005, becoming the longest serving minister in Tanzania. However, Jakaya retains a fair history on every post held, with good records showing his achievements during his spell as an administrator and minister. He became the president of Tanzania on the 21st of December 2005. Meanwhile, prior to his presidential span, he had emerged victorious on the 4th of May 2005 amongst 11 Chama Chama Pinduzi CCM members 
who had sought the party's nomination for presidential slot in the general election. After the 14th of December 2005 multi-party general election, Jakaya was declared winner by the Electoral Commission on the 17th of December and was sworn in as the fourth president of the United Republic of Tanzania on the 21st of December 2005. He ran a peaceful government with notable achievements as there was rapid growth on the country's economy and sustainable measures were put in place. He made the country more dependent on agriculture, he adjusted the structures, cleared the country's international debt and with the help of foreign experts, his government set up productive business structures for the country's basic need and services. Inflation dropped and Tanzania became one of the African countries with a fast economic growth. Jakaya also reformed the educational system and contained every form of religious conflicts in the country. Although he is a Muslim but with open arms accepts other religions, he served for two tenures in a span of 10 years. Jakaya Murisho Kikwete is a rare leader who couldn't even wait to step down from the presidential seat. A quick recap of his statement in 2015 said, I am stressed out of these long years of thankless service and can't wait to hand over. Showing other political leaders what it means to be a selfless leader. During his presidential reign, he was elected to head regional organizations like African Union from the 31st of January 2008 to 2nd of February 2009. He also became the head of Southern African Development Community Trioka, on peace, security and defense from 2012 to 2013. The love Jakaya has for sports could not be hidden, especially on basketball where he was competitive during his school days. Afterwards, he has been a patron of the Tanzanian Basketball Federation for over 10 years. Interestingly, as at the 4th of April 2013, Jakaya became the sixth most followed African leader on Twitter with over 57,626 followers. He was one of the 10 highest paid presidents in Africa with a salary worth around $192,000. In 2015 alone, Jakaya Murisho Kikwete received the Leadership Excellence Award presented by the Pan-African Youth Union. He got the African Achievers Award and was named African Statesman of the Year by the African Sun Times. Moreover, he has received several awards and recognitions home and abroad. What have we missed out of this biography of Kikwete? Let's know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.